Welcome back to the 9PL podcast. Another team announcement today. Uh, stoked to have this this group of people on board, the community themselves. Gold Coast Tonga, Tuli, Bill, Kingy. Thanks for coming on, boys. Pleasure. Thanks, yeah, for, having pleasure, Thanks for having us. So Thanks for having us. So I, I feel like this is a bit of an apology um, from from Tuli and Kingy, Bill, um, just over 10 years ago. We went on the Junior Kangaroos um, tour, Pacific tour, and we played in Tonga. <laughs> And Tulu was playing six and a bit of wing for him. Filetti Mateo was doing 30 metre cutout passes to him. Um, I was we were having a laugh about it downstairs, actually. We we rocked up and it was like 32 degrees. It was hot, really hot. And I'm from far north Queensland. I don't know, hot. And uh, must have been one of the old uncles there. said, oh, kids, jump out in the grass. We've got to get the coral off the off the grass. So they had all the young kids going out getting big chunks of coral off the, off the grass because they were trying to, um, I don't know, make it green. And uh, one of our big guys was Timmy Manor. They had all the Payer brothers, Fatuli, Faletti, Eddie, Eddie Vicelli was coming off the wing. Was this your Australian team? This is the junior kangaroos. <laughs> we got beaten like 56 to 6. Timmy Manor got dumped on his head, big chunk of coral out of his forehead. Oh. It was horrible. Played anyway, we, we licked our wounds and then we made our way to Wellington and then um, we played the junior Kiwis at the cake tin. And Kingy scored two tries to, to beat us, <laughs> actually. And we'll, we'll dub that, actually. I got a good photo of him um, breaking well, a poor little half back in half from a palm in the chest. But thanks, fellas, for apologising because he's entering a team into this. I think I feel like this is a, a round circle. <laughs> Sorry back to me. But, um, Tully, you played in it last year, man. Um, how, did you, how did you find the nines last year? Yeah, look, it was, it was a great day. I I played in the AIM Foundation um, All Stars team with uh, Zebi and the boys. Um, the day was a it was a great day. Uh, not only just playing in it, but um, I watched managed to watch a few games when we had our breaks. You know, just watching the excitement of it of the nines, um, and also just like past players, like being involved with uh, young younger players and local teams, all being part of. Uh, one carnival. I thought it was a great day and you know we all came out out of it after the game like after the carnival just like you know we were just so proud that like we we got to engage in this and the enjoyment that we got out of it. Mm. And I suppose for all of you and you've brought in some heavy artillery in Bill and Kingy but what 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 made you interested in in entering a Gold Coast Tongan team and and what I suppose what's your involvement in 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 this in this team for all of you? Is this for the nines? Yeah. So the team that you are entering, Gold Coast Tonga. What what made you interested in, in in entering, and and what's your role? I think maybe we'll talk about why we, why we entered it, and then the boys can maybe introduce their roles for sure. But I think for us, we just wanted to have a representation of Tonga, and not only Tonga but our spin off of Tonga. So being Gold Coast, we're the most, we're like the underdogs in the Tongan community. So you get the Brisbane Tongans, they're already established. Um, New South Wales Tongans, you know, they're all super established, but we're, we're all Tongans that have just migrated to the Gold Coast within the last 10 to 15 years. And so most of our club are all half cast. They're like half Tongan, half Aussies, half Tongan, half something else. So it's a community where all our kids come together and and they feel they can relate to another half cast Tongan. And so we wanted to enter that into the um, the nines and just see how we go because we, we, we back ourselves even though a lot of our teams are half cast. <laughs> 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 but we, we feel that we've got the right like heavy hitters around. We've got Kingi, Dooley, Mone, like some of the best coaches on the Gold Coast. And we're not afraid to ask for other experts to come in and help. And the response has been awesome with people wanting to join and, and help us because I think we have the underdogs kind of flavour to our team, like we're the nobodies and like trying to do th big things and, you know, breathing um, hope and superpowers into our kids. <laughs> for sure. No, no, I don't know. You, you say it's underdogs. I've been following your socials for the last sort of 12 months and, and obviously the presence of, like you'd said, some, some key figures. Um, I think the inclusivity comes out in all the socials that you do. Um, I you know, Kingy, you just finished up um, most recently with some junior comps. I mean, you and Tully are stretched for days, you know, giving yourselves up to, to the community with, within the kids' comps. Tell us a little bit more about sort of what you have been doing um, over the past sort of couple of months with um, 
obviously there's a Sikamanu Cup, but also uh, you had the Avengers um, kids and you know rugby union. We were just touching on before we jumped on air as well. Oh, uh, oh, just like uh, we said, um, like the small little, you know, we we uh, represent the GC hard, you know, and uh, for us, and most mostly we do it for our kids and anything to uh, keep the kids off the street, you know, and because footy season's so short, and you know, all the the parents want to keep their kids busy, so that's why we created the. GC Tonga got Toa to uh, into those tournaments. So, uh, like, um, like we'll say, we got a lot of people behind the scenes, you know, that help us with, and it's not just us. Mm. You know, there's a lot of people behind it, and we, as much as we all want to take the credit for it, uh, <laughs> the people behind the scenes are the one that push it, you know, and we do the easy parts of coaching the kids, but the, we got a good group of ladies behind. Um, yeah sort of push it and uh, keep us, uh, you know, grounded and stuff and, and uh, keep the kids busy and stuff and morally keep uh, keep making them have fun. And uh, so we, straight from footy season, I think it was like three dead, three weeks break, and then we jumped in straight to seek a money in preparation, you know, and um, I don't know if you saw, but me and Will, like, we totally had the eights, totally had the eights, me and Will had the tens, and uh, who had the twelves? Hobson, eh? Hobson, and then one of the other guys, Alba Hopewadi, had the fourteens. So one of the tens, we started giving out um, little bits, bro. Like KFC. Was it the KFC ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, so we had the, yeah. the Sika Money Cup, man. Like, but our oh, tens, bro. They're all nine. So it's it it's probably like three or four ten years. The rest were all nine. But like, cause we, cause like, like I coach locally, so I know we all know the talented kids, you know. So uh, we 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 didn't, not like we we had some non Tongans, you know. But playing for GC Tongans is not about being Tongan. It's about who, who we whoever wants to embrace the culture and will teach them, you know. Yeah. So all the kids bought in, and we we sort of made little bits with other Tongan regions, you know, and <laughs> South Smoldies, you know. They they. They, they got some good kids in there. And when they were in the Sika Money tournament, we just end up pumping all the teams. No way. Yeah, so we put out, we'll put out a challenge. That whoever can beat us, we sort of just put it out there. And everyone was like, he goes, whoever can beat us, I'll give you guys $200 KFC, <laughs> mate. And it was just like, since he, when they put up socials, it was just like, Everyone, we had, a big, we, had a, we had a big target on our back. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, but, that feed. You know, like, you know, everyone's just like, bang, bang. <laughs> So when we all said that, it was like, yeah, sweet, we're training hard, boys, you know, bringing yeah, yeah. the boys. So we came seeking money, you know, like some of them, you know, they, they go, oh, sweet. But when you lose, you got to buy us KFC, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're still winning on uh, KFC from the other <laughs> regions. <yeah. laughs> yeah. But other than that, you know, with the $200 KFC, from, um, you know, even though we've done well at the Sika Money Cup, we'll end up shouting the boys KFC. But then the Junior Pacific Cup is the big one. Yeah. You know? And then we had some guys, um, the Samoans from up in Brizzy ways, you know? Yeah. We had some guys like, who's the guys that, so it went from 200 to $1,000. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah so, we, so we we were undefeated in the second one cup, which is mainly like a Tongan comp. Yeah. But we invite other nations to participate. Yeah. So our under 10s were undefeated there. And then we sought out the undefeated Samoan team, which was the Western Chiefs. Oh, yeah. Coached by, by Junior and Bolo. And... Um, and so we just put the challenge out there because that's because we're Facebook friends of the coaches and yeah. they put up the post. Oh, we're a four and four, and so we just put the challenge. Oh, would you guys like to challenge? And then some of the the rappers from from their area put up the thousand dollars to sponsor the boys. Oh, true. So it was like a it's like a reward, you know, like yeah, whoever wins would would get the thousand dollars. And um, when the game actually happened, it was the crowd was full, like, <laughs> well, more full than the men's team. Yeah, yeah, right. So it was like probably like. <clears throat> Five thousand people there. Yeah, right. Or even more. Everyone just came to watch that game. And left. It was like a test match. Far out. I, I, yeah. I quickly we played before. I quickly told my aides, quick, quick, the thousand dollar game's on. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, so does this mean uh, we're going to win KC? I said, we got a good chance. Get yeah. over there. Get <laughs> yeah. over there. So they all started running around and supporting our under tens. I think you underestimate like 
Oh, well, I think he's get it to a degree, but one, obviously, there's the collaboration piece. You've, you've got a, a solid support base with the girls, like you said, behind the scenes doing all the running around. You guys with the creativity, um, being the front men, obviously, getting the engagement with the kids in the community as well. But I think the – which I've always respected about certainly the Tongan culture is the – the politeness and the, the the collaborative effort about it being it's all inclusive and it's sport mm. and we want to have fun together which is you know why i was you know hell bent and, and you know inboxing Tuli and inboxing kingy saying come on boys he's got to jump on him and i was you know getting worried there for a little bit and then i was patient enough and finally come back around but i i i think he's a real credit to sort of where you are at in such a short um space and i'm really excited to see how quickly GC Tonga will grow over the next, you know, little bit because there's plenty of people moving into the Gold Coast. And as you said before, it's um, as much as you'd like to have as, as many young Tongans coming in and playing, you, you're opening the doors to everyone, all walks of life to engage in the culture. And I think that that's all about practical reconciliation and you, you guys are doing a, an amazing job at it. But And, and well done with the kids too. And it's um, all kids need activity. I don't think that you understand that and um, and they need positive role models and certainly um, being spearheaded by by you guys and 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 uh, and the team the committee uh, the girls in the in, in the back doing all the all the numbers um, it's it's a credit to you um, so let's let's fast forward a little bit to the to the men's nines um, I know there's there's some of our team at the moment or some of the teams that are entering at the moment are looking at who they're recruiting they've they've got sort of partially you know a core group of guys there who they're going to lean on then they'll probably really drive home who they sort of want to recruit do you have anyone sort of locked in solid or you know who, you, who you're talking to at the moment um that you could sort of name drop for us oh we've got a um if you want to uh Dolly you said uh Pete, nathan Pete, you know yeah yeah nathan he's Pete. A, he's, he's a body legend you know um He's played Origin, you know, he's played a couple of games, so there's him. I was going to call Alex Clean, but uh, I think he's uh, starting his own team, you know. And <laughs> yeah. He's a bit racist to the Tongans, you know. <laughs> he was the, he said, you know, but uh, other than that, um, we got him. Is Bully Bully's, Bully's going to play? Yeah, Isaac Luke's going to jump in yeah. again. Oh, he's good God. Uh, he's he's other stacking side, it you know? with South hookers. What's going <laughs> on there? <laughs> we, knew, we, knew, we knew all the workhorses we had. Mate. You know, we've, uh... Is it KFC $1,000 for these boys? Or <laughs> oh, how, <laughs> how's the engagement going? I don't, going? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, not really confident with you, but the young kids, you know, for sure. If it was, yeah. uh, uh, I asked Kingy, I said, how do we want to build our team? And he was like, Docs, we want them fast. We want them fast. We want them young, enthusiastic and fast. Yeah. And just sprinkle in a bit of experience and a few old boys in there. For yeah. sure. That should be a good mix for our team. We got, because um, um, I see last year's when you had a couple of, there's a lot of fully legends. So we we end up getting a fully legend ourselves. We, even though, you know, we got a few. We got an OG fully legend, uh, Jojo Fafita's. I don't know if you've seen Jojo Fafita's dad. No, you've mentioned him to uh, me. Right. Oh, he's, oh, he's he's bit, how, how old is he? He's about 40, 48, 49. 48. He's almost fifty, bro. But I swear, he's he's in top top shape. He's like yeah. Where are you telling me? I remember giving you a call a few weeks ago, and you're saying Jojo doesn't get an off season. Yeah, <laughs> mate, he's, he's like, <laughs> like he's they, doing they're metrics of them they, they, alongside his boys. No way. I swear, bro. Son like that he's goes to CSS. He's sixteen army. Oh yeah. And then Jojo, so he does. He sets up their training, shows them what to do, and does alongside of them. And he sometimes beats them. Yeah, they're like no way. I, I swear, like metrics drills. He played on the men's Tongan team, <laughs> and I swear he was killing guys. Just <laughs> like, stayed in uh, Nick. It, like he's still in. I'm telling you, now, man. Oh, he, he still st smokes. Oh, still yeah. smokes. But he can't tell. But he like he's. If you see his calves, they're bigger than your head, man. <laughs> I swear. I got a like big a head too. You know, like you know those, <laughs> you know those guys when you see big calves and veins in their arms and stuff. You know, like bro, this guy probably did some of those. You know those. Bush country people, you know, they're in the yeah. islands. But he's one of those ones. That Just stacking bricks. Stacking bricks for <laughs> breakfast, bro. When other kids are running around, you know. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good man too, you know. Mm. And he's like, like like you said before, you can't take all the credit. He's part of the push. You know, him, Yeah, leadership. Yeah, he's, he's part of, he was part of the union push and stuff, and his kids are part of it. And his family, you know. They, and um, like his boys, Jojo, and, and like Bill said, they're, they're all humble. Humble kids, man. Grounded. 
And uh, nah, man, we'll, after I rang him up in Oxford, maybe he's, he's like, oh, I don't know if I can, how many people are playing? <laughs> I said, well, it's only nine docks, you know? Yeah. He's like, only nine, nine on the field. And he's like, it's like seven. And I say, yeah, not, not, not that fast, because you know, I don't want to make him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> don't scare him. And he's like, he goes, oh, how long? He goes, I said, probably, I think, seven minutes and a half. He goes, oh. That's my flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't know that it's, it's going to be a couple of games, you know. He thinks yeah, we're yeah. just only playing one yeah, game. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let so him go well, on the day. <laughs> you know, I'll we'll keep working on him. Yeah. There's, uh, uh, like we like Tuli said, we, there's a few young guys. Uh, there's a few, um, uh, one of the Shaw's kids. Uh, oh, yeah. He's the Aboriginal kid, you know. Um, uh, Kate Shaw. Uh, uh, I'm still working on that one too, but uh, like this kid, he's got all the skills, you know. Like, like I said before, he's related to. All he's an English mob, isn't he? Yeah. He's, in, he's part of the. He's part of that mob. Coming of that bloodline, bro. Oh. And uh, he's, and the Shaws are, really, uh, good footy family from I think from there from Wellington. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, they they, they're all footy heads too, and those genetics, you know. He's he's a good kid as well, humble kid. I just sort of want to. You know, like it's part of what we do is try get these kids off. You know, you know, get them a bit of exposure. Yeah. That's all we want to do. You know, yeah. even though it's for you know, like it's good to have all these old heads and stuff. We just want to give a bit of these young bucks a yeah. exposure that they yeah. deserve. You know, and he, I reckon, he's one of. So uh, hopefully, uh, Kate can let him play with us. You know, and then I've never seen a kid as fast as him too. So he's got that. That black fella speed, bro. That you know, you see the knockouts and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, like so. He's. We need that, and we're going to play this tournament. We need a bit of that. And uh, who else? Who else? I think we're waiting on uh, maybe two clearances. For <laughs> my oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Kenny Edwards. So yeah, we're just waiting on a clearance. Hopefully, we can. Kenny is trying to tell me a bit of contract money. I said, mate, those days are over. Yeah, you're doing it for yeah. free, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's KFC dollars and you play for Gold Coast Chicken. Times. <laughs> nah, that's in the Tongan currency, it's KFC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't deal with dollars, we're dealing, we're dealing pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon uh, it sounds like you've got a good finger on the pulse with young and old. Um, awesome that you got JoJo's dad yeah, back in there as well, as much as you had to lie to him about it being nine minutes to seven minutes he's only playing one game but <laughs> you can let him know on the day um what are you what are you looking to get out of the nines if it's you know going to be a successful campaign for you what, what what would you envision it being i think the biggest thing for us is um with all these polynesian teams that people have created in the past there's no pathways there's no exposure and i feel with the nines it's just another big spotlight on talent you know mm. and if all our junior kids can stick with us and then be good enough to make the nines, like if we do this regularly, yeah, that's just more exposure for them. Totally. With what the nines have got going on. So our, our dream is to create pathways for them, whether it be uh, rugby union scholarships or a career in rugby league or rugby union, whatever is going to be better than working in, uh, working in the warehouse, you know? Yeah. No offense to people working in the warehouse, like, you know? No, no, no. I think it's, yeah, it's it's opening it's creating, their eyes to yeah, more, that's you know, more things, more opportunity and, um, you're certainly creating it. Last question, boys. I'll get you all to answer it. What's the best thing about doing stuff with Gold Coast Tonga, in your own opinion? What's your What's your favourite thing as an individual with with what you do, what you provide for the community? What's What What What, what makes you want to drive this thing the way that you that you give all this energy to it? Uh, for For me personally, being involved in uh, Gold Coast Tonga uh, was giving back to my culture. Um, as my son's involved um, and just being around Tongan people and my Tongan community um, I think it was important for me with my experience to, to give back to our kids I think they deserve it and like Will spoke about um, giving them a pathway whether it was me just coaching and just being a mentor and guiding them mm. um, for me that was that was that's my favorite part of being involved in this community is being around my Tongan people uh, who share the same passion uh, that we help help our, our Tongan kids, give them platforms and, and a pathway. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I think for me, similar to what Dolly expressed and um, like my kids are half cast Tongan too. And I just love that they can come to a space where they feel proud to be Tongan. 
and not not because you know they go to school they're minority so they may not be as proud when they come to like training and stuff they see other half tongans or other full tongans and they all embrace it and I, to me that's that's what i love like i'll tell you a short story so like my other half she's part mode or she's like mostly Maori and a little bit of tongan and when the kiwis are playing mmt like because i was so passionate my boys are always going yeah mata mata tonga, mata mata tonga. and then yeah. the grandparents uh, they're Maori and they're saying to the boys boys the Kiwis are playing, you know, back to his fans. <laughs> the Kiwis are playing uh, Mata Matonga. Who are you going to go for? And all the boys are, Mata Matonga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they, they got a little bit cut. <laughs> hey, you know you guys are half Maori as well? <laughs> you know you guys are half Maori? Yeah. And so, like, you know, I've been nice. telling the boys, yeah, you guys are half Maori too. You know? yeah. So another thing was um, we invited one of our, our club boys to come and join our team, um, Rocco Damachi. Mm. He's part Italian, Aussie-born kid. But this is his second year playing with us. Um, he's embraced the Tongan culture, does the sipitao and everything. And then he said to his dad the other day, Dad, when I grow up, I want to play for Tonga. Oh, how good is that? Bro, like, he's embraced the, the culture, you know? Yeah, you've given him that opportunity, man. That's and he's awesome. And he's proud of, like, you know, the good thing about Aussie kids coming and joining our culture is, like, you know, when they got, like, the Pacific Test and that, they can identify as, like, being close to a group. Like, yeah. You know? Totally. They'll, they'll, they'll cheer for a team and feel like they're part of it. So yeah. for me, that's that's what it is for me. It's like not only my kids being proud to be Tongan, but having other kids be proud to be Tongan who are not even Tongan. Yeah, that's awesome. Good answer. Kings? Man, I'm just, these guys pretty much said it for me. You know, like, um, like, um, I'm like, I come from a Tongan, proud Tongan family. And when I moved here to the coast as a young buck, I sort of lost their way, you know, and my kids are half cast too, you know, and when it comes to the the footy side of things, you know, like just because it was Tonga that it's not like you you know, if my son wants to play for another it'll be up to him, you know, but I just love hanging with our people, man. You know, like you know, be like uh like you brother, you know, when you hang with your mob in there, you know, it'll be like Man, like, just love all our kids embracing the culture, especially my kids, you know. Like, well, my son just lives and breathes talking about me, you know, and, like, when you have the the day, when, like, when Dolly first taught the kids the sipitao, that's like our, I mean, that's like our haka. Yeah. Made all the half-caste kids, well, you know, seen Dolly do it, then all the kids do it, you know, like. Yeah. Like, if you see kids do haka, sibitao, siva, siva taos, it's better than the grown-ups. Oh, yeah. More passion. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, it's full on hard out, man. You know, I'd rather watch kids do it than adults. And it's more, that's all cultures. Like, Maldives, Cookies, Samoans, Tongans, Fijians. You watch all the young bucks do it, man, it's, it's hectic. Eh? And for me to be in this... Uh, with these group and for the kids and stuff, it's, it's nothing beats it, eh? And like uh, Will said before, we got a couple of Aussie kids, you know, um, they just, you know, we, like, people don't understand, like, in the world, people don't understand, they might look at us, we might look scary, mm. you know? So we thought we just just let a couple of non-kids, you know, whoever want to come, you know, we'll teach them the culture, you know, and, show them what we're like, you know, they, like, people will understand that we are, we're friendly people and we're loving people, you know. Totally. And um, when they first came, a couple of Aussie kids, the first thing they liked at the trainings wasn't the trainings, it was the the food, bro. Yeah. Because the <laughs> food is part of us, you know. Like, yeah. yeah. We had this fruit, I don't know if you know, I've seen this fruit drink, it's called the Otai. It's just, you know, it's made of like watermelon fruit. It's just, it's, that's us, and we always have it after trainings and all the Aussie kids. We give it to them, and they're like, oh. as soon as they, oh, they're like, oh <laughs> do you have another one, mate? Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> with their appearance, you know, then they're, they're always asking, oh. Well, it's funny, like, before trainings, they're like, hey, Coach, can you, are we having that fruit drink up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you train hard, they will. Where the, and then these other, other things, these, uh, these little cake things, uh, like cake donuts. Oh, yeah. They're like Tongan donuts, you know. And uh, one of our sponsors, so we had a sponsor that used to make it after trainings. Uh, 
Shout out to uh, what's his uh, uh, Q's Kitchen. Q's Kitchen. Oh yeah, yeah. Q's Q's Kitchen. They, you know, they sponsor the kids. They go out of their own pockets, massive buckets of all day. Johnny Boy and Seta. Mm. Johnny, uh, massive um, big boxes of cake, cake bread, and all the kids after trainings. Because well, that's what we used to do. We do is we feed the kids after trainings. And stuff. Yeah, I've oh. seen the footage, man. It's tables for yeah. days. Yeah, it's like you know, like, so yeah, it saves like burn three three hundred calories, eight thousand calories. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> save the parents going home and you know because training we late, save them going home cooking them dinner. So we just tell the parents awesome. Well, after training, we'll feed them and stuff. You know, yeah. Yeah. but that's all we do, man. That's why I love it because little things like that, you know, and and our, our motto is for the kids, and it's for the kids, you know. Not just Tongan kids, every everyone's everyone's kids, you know. For sure. Well, yeah. I, once again, I really appreciate you fellas jumping in. It's for the kids for sure. But hopefully, this one's for you fellas. You know, you you are you are paving the way for Gold Coast Tonga and the Tongan community as well as anyone basically here on on, on the Gold Coast wanted to wanted to be involved and, and have a bit more awareness around um Gold Coast Tonga. So really excited about having you on. Looking forward to working with you over the next couple of months leading into the comp and um. I oh, appreciate you, man. Thanks for giving us oh, the opportunity. Thank you, bro. Yeah, believing in us, like you wouldn't give us this opportunity if you, if you thought we we weren't worth it. So we we're just grateful that you know you allowed us to be a part of your guys' uh, tournament. Yeah, appreciate awesome. it. Yeah, appreciate thanks, brother. Thank you, bro. Easy.